I missed that. I don't know. It was in a hurry. My husband was in the car with the dogs. He was not very patient. So I went to Pineville, Louisiana the other day. It's like central Louisiana. And I went to their Goodwill. And sometimes I would find a few fun things there, but I found nothing. Uh, so on my way back home, I actually passed uh, Rolling Hills in Pineville. It's a new location. And it was a, it was a, maybe an old 7-Eleven or something, but they added on to the back, like a big metal building on the back. And I went in and it was kind of interesting because not like ours, it, this one has a lot of store closure type things. It's almost like back when Big Lots was first started and you could tell it was mostly, well, it still is closed out, but you know, you could tell that, you know, it was excess merchandise kind of stuff. So like half of it is that, it has mattresses and a little bit of furniture, um, diapers and all sorts of, you know, cleaning supplies and all sorts of things like that. I really wasn't shopping for that day, but so it has a section of that. But then the other side, it has more of the, uh, you know, the gifts and stuff like that. So the first thing I had to do was find the Christmas stuff and it was a little scattered. So I started out on this, this stuff aisle and I found this at Emmett Kelly clown sad clown there's a story behind Emmett Kelly and why he's a sad clown and you should read up on it it's pretty good I'll put a link below about that so they had a lot of cute old knickknacks and um, specialty items like this I thought these little dolls were so cute if I show them I'm really bad about looking at what I'm looking at versus what I'm videoing I really like these very tempted to get them kind of regretting now that I didn't get them because they're pretty, they're really sweet. You know, I like those little dolls. So, I didn't need them. <laughs> Don't need anything. Uh, let's see. It's so funny to go back after the fact and see stuff. Because sometimes you see stuff you missed. And I do like uh, Little Red Riding Hood. I like to make little dead riding hoods out of them. But she was kind of pricey. I just left for somebody else. Because I don't need her. I can always make a cake. I don't know, the uh, doll's kind of stretched out anyway. I don't think she's worth that. Just saying. And uh, lots of stuff. I like this. Do not open boxes. Um, there's like, some boxes. Don't open those. And that's, uh, those things put your glasses on. <laughs> Pretty cute. I'm so bad this time about changing my hands, and you'll see my finger in front of my video. Oh, that that globe Did you, I just passed. I just broke one of those. Well, actually, my husband broke it, but I needed that globe. I don't know why I didn't get it. All right, so that's this weird mushroom thing that's probably from the 70s. Remember when mushrooms were all the rage? Have you noticed at this, at this store, there's no music playing. I don't know why, because at the other Rolling Hills I go to, they always have music playing, especially Christmas music or religious music, you know, like kind of pop, you know, you know modern uh, religious music's really nice. Um, but this one, no, there's no music. Hmm. Which made it easier to keep it open. I, yeah, actually, I pass up a lot of things. I love the little Christmas glasses, but I didn't. I didn't get them. I have some uh, that I'm running out of room to store stuff like this. And oh, lots of coffee cups. I didn't really dig into it though. Anyway, there's the. I like the shadow box. I was thinking, what could I do with just the shadow box? Not necessarily the snowman. This poor Santa. He, he's got the roughest looking beard, but he was only $1.75. Okay, so the chalkware. Yeah, I passed up on the chalkware. I know. I'm, I can't believe it was 55 cents. And yes, I skipped it. A uh, piece. He's pretty piece. And then there's just some more stuff. Now, the reason I passed up on the chalkware, it was chipped up. And I don't really collect that. And I just can't be buying stuff to put on eBay right now. I just have to let it go to someone else. There's a cute little gourd. I don't know if you see it over there. It's just a little bitty gourd. Another thing, uh, I something I didn't need, and I just let it go. Wouldn't mind going back uh, next time we go down to Alexandria or Pineville, actually, in Pineville, to look at houses, or if my son and daughter-in-law moved down there, I'd be going back. Anyway, lots of stuff, lots of ornaments, lots of little doodads. One thing about this store is it's a little crowded like the aisles are closed you thought you feel very confined it's organized a lot differently than our other stores it's kind of random all right the, I, I just went real quick there um i'm going to get back to those uh 
the garland. Yeah, I love this tree, and it's all broken up, but I like how the actual tree was made with broken glass. And I have a bunch of beads and have a bunch of things. I always kind of wanted to make one of these, but what a great idea. Hey, for $5, most of the work's already done for me. And yes, I did buy that and brought that sucker home. So that was a good find. Anyway, I've got the garland at the buggy. I had to put my phone down so I could pick the garland up you know, and check it out before I, I put it in there. So I was like, okay, one thing a garland is fine. Uh, I'll figure it out because this past year, when I went to put up my garland, uh, we got to donate it all, all, all my garland, really, except I had these two pieces that I had bought, and they were berries, and I'd never taken them out. They're like a plastic wrap, and I took them out of plastic wrap, and they were totally different colors. One was red berries, and the other one was like a burgundy berry with a darker um, tape on it, and I went, oh my gosh, I was really counting on those berries to be my garland this year, so that was a big fail. So I didn't get to use those. So then, there it is. God meant for me to have garland. I found a rolling hills, and there I found some garland. And I, I used to have one of these, and I can't remember. It's not really not. It's not the cut crystal, but it's actually a pretty nice one. It's molded glass, but it's still really pretty. I need it. I just don't need it. I mean, I can see going in. You could really load up on some of this Christmas stuff. The prices were so cheap. This place is so good. Anyway, so it's kind of weird. There's Christmas, but then we have our purses. Now, I kind of um, zeroed in right here on this purse. It's one of those that's got the bazillion pockets to it. It's really fun, but you never put the stuff in the pockets. You know you don't. You know you just put it all in the back. I was trying to check to see if it was real leather because I remember when those uh, ostrich um, skin was all the rage, and it was just kind of funny. Brought back some memories. And look at this very clean, really nice purse. But I, I know I will never... <laughs> keep stuff in the right pockets. It's just not what I do. So at some point while I was shopping this lady walked across in front of me and put something down and I almost said to grab that ribbon. I'll tell you in a minute why. Uh, anyway this lady was walking by and set something down and I'll have to tell you about it. So uh, I like this little old Santa's. I think they're so cute. You know, 55 cents. So throw that in there. And just poor little sewing stuff. A lot of piles in this store. So, so many more. I mean, I know we have a lot of baskets of things, or bins, I guess. Well, the stuff that you had to dig through, which is fun. This one definitely had a lot of stuff. You <laughs> put it all back. That had to me broken berries. I like that. I, like, I do like that for my Santas to kind of cut it up and reuse it. I have some, though. And that would be pretty, but it had a lot of plastics in it. I don't want the plastics. You know how plastics will get that smell, which is why. Anyway, so, um, which is why I threw away my old um, garland is because it had a lot of plastic stuff in it, and the plastic had broken down. I just love this angel. He's just such a cutie. I'm just kind of, hmm. What is it about this angel that's kind of speaking to me? I don't know. It's a very different looking angel. I like. I'm just, I love that I'm in strike. It's very dirty, which is why I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, just something. Something's just speaking to me. What do y'all think? You think it's a kitty? I don't think it's a kitty. I. If I put it back then or not? Okay. And there's just a little doll. I don't need. I have so many dolls like her. And I do kind of dig her dress. That's what it's got. It's weird when you kind of dig her dress. And you think. Mm. Is it worth it to get that dress? No, I left her behind for someone else to enjoy. Oh, there's people talking. Uh, and then I thought these were so cute, and I ran up to them because I thought they were glass. They're plastic. Bummer. Now, that other, this lady brought back, but kind of walked up beside me, sort of, and set something down. It was the other matching garland. So now I had two garlands, which is perfect for my house. And you'll see pictures of that later, how that was the first thing I did when I got home, was hang that garland over my door. Okay, I came in the toy section, and it's, uh, there's a lot of toys. They have a lot of toys. I don't know who this doll is, and once again, you know, this is not a trip to buy stuff to sell on eBay, but that is kind of cool. I, and um, I don't know of anybody who is collecting those or doing anything with those, but yeah, I've never heard of those dolls. It's kind of neat. So lots of bags that call theirs. Um, they have a lot, you know, a lot of, lot of bags. 
Oh, okay. Let me, I'll just tell y'all about it. The new um, Elsa and Anna with these legs. They look like they're d d zombies. The zombie legs. I can't stand the legs. One's got blue legs. One's got that that color leg. It's just, why did you make zombie legs? Another one looks like tights, but then they put feet on them. That makes no sense. Anyway, this is a big, big place. I don't know if you see the length right there. That's actually the width of the place. Well, there's my garland. Got home, hung it up. And then I used that ribbon that I bought. I paid about $2.55 or $2.75 for each piece of garland. There's two. And then $0.75 cents for the bow. Anyway, I did get the mirror. And I just keep getting a couple more shots of that mirror. And it's reflecting this weird thing I have in my house. But, yeah, I, I mean, I'm really digging that broken glass. I think that's going to be really cool with my new beads. And to make it more of the colors in my house, I, I, um, I'm not big into pinks and stuff. But I have all these bags of broken bracelets that have the little enameled snowman and Santas and candy canes. Okay, so let me show you what I ended up with. I, of course, everything's wrapped to death. You know, I do dolls. And to find this was, wow. I can't say I got a like super great deal on this, but it was definitely worth getting it and you know the money going to Rolling Hills. So and the ministry. We're pulling all that. Well, all that and my bag's falling out. Well, that's wrapped up. Anyway, these are Talina Bridget. Talina. Try the skin. These are Talina's doll wigs. And like, for example, just one cost $7.50 and I paid $7.55 for the whole bag. And these are, on the uh, bag it says Sugar Bridges. Now, Sugar Bridges wig is typically just that little um, bowl cut wig. So they're sealed up. Maybe I have, oh, no, they're not. I should put it here. I forgot about that. So they should all have like the, just the little bowl cut. Anyway, I'll open ones. I have a black one. Oh, and the different sizes. This is an 11. This is an 11. And that's the circumference of the head. Oh, this is a 12. That's a 13. So, hey, there's a variety of sizes. So, that would go... Oh, this is such a cute red. And that's an 11. There's another one of that really pretty brown. It's 12. And that's blonde. That is a 13. A 12 inch. A uh, 12 inch. Brownish, reddish brown, kind of. All right, this is, this is this is actually a Boots Tyner wig in here. So those are just wigs. And I, oh, they used to have names on them. Well, they actually have numbers, and they're all 801. So that's the style. So they all have this, I'm sure, the exact same style. So some of them have been making a lot of sugar bridges. So I'll give you an idea what this looks like. It's, they're really short. And they, yeah, they'll have like a little bit of length on there to kind of go around the back of the head. But it's basically like a bowl cut. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like a toupee. But yeah, but there's no length to it. It's really short. So I'll put that up later. Take the tape off of it. Tape is going everywhere. And another, it's like a 12. Yep, another 12. Oh, here's a blonde one that's not uh, not wrapped up. This one seems small. Oh, it's a 12. And that's another 12. So a lot of 12s, a couple of 13s, and a few 11s. But here is a blonde one, maybe easier to see. I put that out. So if you look at the, it's just the really small little head there. And then they've got all this that kind of hangs down the back. And it just keeps that hair looking very fine and soft. More like a baby's. This one actually has some glue on it. It may have been used. May have to wash it. So, and then you can put them on. And you can trim them. Because, you know, it's just hair. You can trim. Look at all those wigs. So that's a pretty good bunch of wigs for the price of one. So I am pretty impressed with that. That was a lucky find. And uh, so they have... Oops. So they had a lot of yarn, but the yarn was not cheap. Uh, I'm not saying it was terribly expensive, but it really wasn't that cheap. So, I, But I did find one of these yarns, and I do love this stuff. It's just so fun. So I love that color, and I love to see, I just love yarn. But see, that's a really cool color. And uh, it kind of needs to be rerun. I don't love this style of yarn, but what I have found 
it makes some really good doll hair. It, it'll hold a pretty good length before, you know, so you start pulling it, it'll pull apart like that. But if it's not something you're going to be constantly raking on, it, it will hold, you know, you'll get a pretty decent length out of it. So you can make some wefts out of that. For something small, like a Barbie, maybe Monster High is just like delicious shade of green. I know. Swampy green. And one of my adorable finds, um, how did they bag this? Oh, they just took a, a heat-sealed heat a Ziploc bag. I just love him because he was an old Santa. And he's a candle hugger. He doesn't have his name, but yeah. And he's sweet. Look at his little face. So he's a really old guy. He's all dirty. Got a little, got a little charred. I have to go clean him up. He actually looks like he's worn down. Somebody like painted him on his booty. Um, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. This is something I'm really curious about. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot about this. Okay, so there's Emmett. I did get Emmett, um, Emmett the Clown, you know, and it says, hmm, Emmett Kelly Jr. By Flame Bro. I have some other Flame Bro clowns that are a little bit smaller. So... Uh, if I do sell him, all the proceeds will go to the elephants. And I probably will sell them. It's just when I get around to listing him, that's the trick. And he was, who was a dollar? And that's weird, because I used to don't end things like zeros, but he was a dollar. Anyway, the whole like, the day, the whole stuff I got was $25.23, including tax. Now this, I need to see what this is about. For some reason, this one just, I don't know, it just spoke to me. That is a weird little head. I just really like this angel, and I know it's something on the bottom. It's stamped, and it's it's got this, oh, I don't know, this mark. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, I'm going to try it upside down, or whatever. I don't know which way is right, upside up, upside down. That my loop, I can't really see it. But it says made in Austria, so... I just had a feeling this was a nice little guy. He's He is dirty. He needs a bath. Uh, probably has some crazing on him, too. I'll, I'll know. More. You can definitely see the crazing when you walk, get something wet. Oh, sorry. Very cheap table here. When you get it wet, you can see the crazing a lot more. So, we'll see. But he's pretty sweet. Yeah, I had to grab him. And then I got one goodie bag. I just had to have a goodie bag. Because, you know, you got to have goodie bags. Oh, by the way, at their place, they called them grab bags, so, hmm. And that makes sense, too. I like goodie, but grab grab works for me. Oh, I can always, this is actually a pretty nice apple. There's something with a star from it's heavier. It's more of a resin apple. That would look good with a Santa. Who needs an apple? Raise your hand. Apple? You need an apple? Let me put that with you. Uh, okay, here's why I bought this bag. I will spend, oh, how much did I spend? $1.55, because I had to have him. He's a little bit wonky right now. Let me fix him. Yeah, I saw this um, this ornament, and he is <laughs> breaking because I am kind of rough. Oh, my gosh. He's on there good. Wow. Somebody's got to give here. There he goes. He's on screw eyes, so all I do is just twist him on the screw eyes a little bit. Well, maybe not. And then, you hang him better now? I fix his hair, and there he is. So, yeah, I kind of, oh, he's like, if y'all haven't seen my little five-second uh, clown puppet video, okay, I love my clown. He is in my studio. I get to see his little cute face every day when I work in my studio. But he's a doll, so if you're, like, going through, I'll have to put a, you know, plug it down below where he is, because that's, that's a cute, oh, you're not going to show up at all. I'm going to figure out where to put you. Uh, gotta have gold cord. Always a reason for that. So there's some, okay, there's some interesting, um, that's actually a really pretty frame with a picture of the kid. Sorry, kid, I don't know who you are, but I made you famous. Yeah, that's, I don't know how to get it. In. Oh, I see a slide's in there. That is so funny. I don't think that was a model kid either. I think that was the legit kid. Here's some kind of a scroll. I don't know. Would you put that with the Santa? It's like, I don't think it would really go with the Santa. He's just made out of clay. Um, oh, it's an angel wing ornament, handmade. It's a little handmade out of clay. That's pretty sweet. I want to 
only been great if I had two of those. I made something in Angel. These are these are kind of looking handmade-ish. This is like a little castle. Look at that. I don't think of what if I use it with a Santa. I don't know. Um, like okay, so there's a theme going here. Cause this is the let me make sure. Hmm. Ten Commandments. There's ten of them. That's, oh, and this, uh, yeah, and then this, and then this thing. It's a P and the, it's kind of cute. I don't want to use those. Here's a little bag of goodies, and it's got something in it, and let's, let's see what it's got. I think all of this came off of a, a religious theme tree. And there's a Pico with that? I can't remember. I am terrible. I, I don't, like, my Bible days are just behind me, I guess. I don't know what's going on here. I can't remember anything. Oh, uh, it's gold. Yes, it's a bag of gold. Oh, I know what this is. This is, this is, um, oh yeah, Jesus being sold cheap or some gold. Some gold and some gold colored rocks. I like the two little pieces of gold, though. Yeah, this is, so I definitely see, what is the, if you remember what this means, Please let me know, because I forgot. I mean, that's just like a castle or something that's, I'm sure, tells part of the story. But the bag of gold means a lot. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with this thing. And there's my gold, just shot across the room. So one of these broke. So I'm seeing pieces of it everywhere. Yeah, sorry, took me a long time. Um... All right, stuck. Easter lily. That's right here. It was just actually kind of pretty. Regardless. This is like a water vessel, I suppose. See the little jug? Oh, wait, yeah, be still. There you go. It's like a little jug with two handles. A cross. Now the cross, um, I think I just took that with my crosses. Here's a star, and the star is pretty nice looking. It's a pretty star. It doesn't have to go with the this theme, biblical theme. Uh, it could. And it's, cause it's weird that this is in here. And here's a seashell that's, I don't know what that's about, but it's like, here's the seashell, but then they filled it with stuff on the back and painted it painted it? I don't know. Ah, uh, I was hoping this was glass, but it's not. It's crystal. I mean, plastic. It's just a little plastic one. Hey, I mean, I've got a bag over here that's got um, acrylic. Throw it in there. Even though it's probably part of this theme. I don't know. There's crown. And this is Cradle-ish looking shape thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I'm really kind of confused. This is a tree that was like cut down or a stump. Yeah, somebody's got to tell me what the story is around, around this. Here's a heart with a jewel. Can you see the jewel glued to it? Big purple jewel. Mm -hmm. um, a hammer? Thor hammer? <laughs> it's Thor's hammer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they used to make this. This stuff is pretty sturdy. Unless that was put around a piece of wood. Uh, Ball of Jericho. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Um, this broke, but it's the If you can see, it's not broken. It's um, I bet that will come off. That's tissue. I bet if you wet it, it'll come off. Anyway, it's a lamb. And I or. Yeah, this is coming off. It just needs to be wet. Uh, it's a rug, but I would hardly call it a coat of many colors. It's just blue. So I bag all these back up and uh, go back to God. Now, I'm digging this, and I, I can see using that like on a Santa, but it's not really a toy. See the rainbow? I mean, come on. That is so adorable right there. That is a sweet little ornament on its own. I'm going to hang on to that one. Cornucopia thing? No, it was a horn. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's the horn of uh, Gabriel? No, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Uh, the world? 
and it broke. All the outside cracked, but all the pieces are actually in here. And this looks like, I, I don't know. What is that? Help me out, guys. Anyway, all of these kind of go in here. I'm digging the lamb, though. I'm, on, I'm, I'm almost, it was torn out of a book. Kind of like it. Kind of want to keep that. Really kind of like the angel wing, too. That's pretty sweet. There's just something about it. I just like it. Man, I like the feathers. Huh. Let me hang on to that as well. And I probably didn't tell the same story without all the pieces. And it's kind of like in the bag of uh, gold. Oh, I just hang on to it for a while. And I don't know. Peace. I don't know. It means something. I got seven bag these up and get rid of these. So, I didn't buy much. That's uh, But that was $25, mostly for the wigs. The wigs were worth it. The, um... I do like Emmett, and I don't know. These things don't go for much, but say if it was 10 bucks, it would go, I would all be sent to the elephants anyway, so there's that. This is really cool. I love my elephants. Okay. Oh, Got to find the give it back to God bag, which I had over here somewhere. Let me get this stuff loaded up. Got, oh, this is my hammer. Oh, and my, and my little flower. Kind of liking the flower. Hmm, that's pretty cute. Oh, I think it was such a good idea with the pearls. That's sweet. I'm on the fence. That's the worst part. When you get on that fence and you can't figure out what you're going to do. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I, like I said, my big score was the wigs. This the rest of the stuff is kind of fun. Do, I do love this. And it will. Look, I do have the older Santa, so he will look cute with those. Oh, he's broken. Mm, just noticed. See, he had a broken leg. Oh, you poor baby. Took a spill. I could probably touch him up in the studio, make him look a little better. I missed that. I don't know. It was in a hurry. My husband was in the car with the dogs. He was not very patient. So that's going back. Kept a few things just because I think they're cool. And uh, yeah, so there's that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that notification button because I would uh, like to start doing some live broadcast of like my my little plan to do my love it or list it on ebay and if i have some stuff i'm showing that you would like you would be interested in buying you can buy it then but if you think it may be something that could sell on ebay you could give me some advice on what to do and i'll try i'm trying to get my ebay store picked up again because i have gotten really lazy no i'm too busy i'm really too busy that's the reason hope you had a merry christmas and a happy new year and thanks for watching bye